Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're going to explore the SAP API Business Hub. I wanted to write about this topic or briefly discuss this topic because not a lot of people are actually aware of its existence and I wanted to give you guys a quick introduction for those of you interested in SAP integrations in context of APIs. Hopefully you are able to get an insight or at least find references or guides for your own development needs. I also wanted to mention that I first encountered the SAP API Business Hub when I was taking up courses in OpenSAP, so it was mentioned there. I also encountered it in a couple of SAP Learning Journey modules or materials. So it's being mentioned in a lot of these materials. So overall, I was able to appreciate the documentations that were in the website and even the integration flow diagrams. It was basically a good place to start exploring even if you're not well acquainted with how APIs work in SAP. It at least gives you an overview or examples to help you get started. Just so we're organized with this video, this is the flow or the overview of how we're going to discuss things. First, we're going to talk about the purpose, and then we're going to move on to how you access the website. And then we're going to focus on three main tabs, which are the Explore, Resources, and the Discover Integrations tab. So I'll be focusing on those three. And towards the end, I will provide some additional information for those of you who are interested. Starting with the purpose, I wanted to mention that the SAP API Business Hub is a repository for SAP related APIs. So if you're looking into integrations or if you're looking to explore certain functionalities that may involve APIs, you can go to this website. And if you're not aware of what APIs are, you can read my post on SAP interfaces in a nutshell. So that's a pretty good prerequisite for this video. I'll also leave the link down in the description box below. As mentioned, the website is where you can explore and test APIs created by SAP and even partners. It's beneficial for developers because it contains technical information and it's also beneficial for consultants or any person who wants to explore API integrations related to SAP. So one good example is that if you're looking for SAP API references, examples, or anything related to that to incorporate in your current SAP system, then the website is a good starting point. It looks something like this. So you can click on this link or search the SAP API Business Hub on Google. You should be able to find the website. Moving on to accessing the website, again, you can go to this link and the access is free or open to the public. So you, so you can freely browse the site. One thing to note is that if you want to fully explore the website or all of its features, I suggest that you create your own account because certain documentations, technical, documents, even the diagrams that you may want to view, those will require login access. Once you're logged in, you can explore the hub and as mentioned, we'll focus on the three main tabs. First, we'll talk about the resources tab and this is something that you can go to first because it will contain frequently asked questions about the website. Next will be the explore tab. So this is where you get a bunch of options in terms of your search. So you see that you can search by products, business processes, or categories. So for example, if you have SAP Concur, you can click on that to explore the available APIs that you can see or integrations involved. For business processes, for example, you're looking to understand what is available for recruit to retire, or at least in terms of the examples in this website, you can click on that. This is an example where I wanted to see all the APIs. 
so I clicked on the explore tab and then I selected APIs under the categories option so I clicked on this one and I was redirected to a screen like this and here in the screenshot you should see that there is some sort of categorization happening or being shown to you we have soap OData versions, REST, policy template, and packages. So you can click on those to browse through what is available depending on your research or what you want to explore. And once you have found something that you are interested to look into, you can click on the tile. So for example, this one, I selected service order. I clicked on that and it should bring me to the next screen. It looks something like this. So this is where notable information would be provided. So you've got a uh, status, type, last modified, the version, as well as the created on, and a couple of more details. You have a pretty extensive overview. Now if you scroll down further, there will be documentations that you can refer to. So in this example, you see that there's a business documentation available for you to read or download. For API resources, you've got the necessary details in terms of the attributes or the API specification. Now if we move on to the API references tab, it will provide more details such as the port type, the target namespace, protocol, operations, so on and so forth. And again, I just wanted to note that for you to access these documentations and all the related information, you need to log in. For the last tab, we have the Discover Integrations tab. And this is another option if you want to focus your search on integrations between products. This is an example screenshot. And if we were to scroll down further in the web page, you'll notice that even third-party applications or other entities are part of the list. So we've got SAP Concur here, Field Glass is also here. We've got Jira, for those of you who are using Jira, and as well as other entities. And it's pretty much the same concept. So if you click on one tile, for example, I clicked on Jira, it will direct you to a screen that looks like this and it, it gives you options to choose from if there's documentation of integrations between Jira and S4 HANA then that should be shown to you as an option so this is an example I clicked on Jira and SAP S4 HANA and I see that there's a tile that shows up in terms of this combination or this integration so you can simply click on the tile again and you should see more information on this one. There are also other integrations that you, you can explore further as you scroll down. So you'll see that there's Microsoft, there's Oracle, ServiceNow, as well as Salesforce. Basically, there are a lot of options. Below, I showed you an example of Twitter and SAP CRM integrations. So this is something that makes use of social intelligence. And again, the same concept applies where you click on the tile to view the documentations, the diagrams involved, so on and so forth. One difference when viewing integrations is that you can see the integration flows aside from documentation. So by going to the Discover Integrations tab and going through those tiles, you get a pretty detailed flow where you can zoom in or zoom out according to your preferences. So we're done with the three tabs and now we're moving on to the additional information which is the last portion and you'll notice that in the SAP API Business Hub there are certain acronyms or terminologies that you may not necessarily be aware of. So in case you're interested to know more about this, I I listed down some acronyms or some terms as well as the notes involved and the helpful links. So in terms of OData, I have linked some helpful documentations officially under SAP Help Portal and other related official sites.
that's basically it for this video. I hope this helps you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.